Hey guys, happy new year to all of you. Hope you guys are safe from the pandemic thing and doing well. Now, as much as I am a tech guy, I am also a car guy. And then when it's car with futuristic technology, I thought I would make this video and share my thoughts on the new Mercedes Vision EQ double X. It's a future of electric cars for many reasons. If you haven't heard about this car yet, I will leave a link to its official video in the description section of this video. You can check that out or watch this video till the end and share it with your friends if you like it. So the CES 2022 is kicking off in style with this insanely designed Mercedes Vision EQ XX. It's not just another electric car, but the car that has a lot of things in it that would definitely make its way into the production cars in the near future. So that's what I'm really excited and looking forward to. Now it's an electric car of course, but it has a range of 1000 kilometers. Yes, it also has a mushroom leather, but wait for that. Before we jump into that, you've got to know this, a little bit of history on how this Mercedes EQ XX evolved. Now one and a half years ago, the head of the Mercedes gave a challenging task to the designers to design an electric vehicle that could go on a thousand kilometers on a single charge without needing a massive battery, carry four passengers just like a standard sedan would and use technology that could feasibly make a way to the mass produced cars. So the designers went to the drawing board and spent 18 months coming up with what the company just announced. The Vision EQ XX. It's a car which can be driven 1000 kilometers on just one charge. As a quick comparison, if you look at the refreshed Tesla Model S, which tops out at about 600 kilometers of range. So here, 1000 kilometers on a single charge. So taking a look at the design, um, at first I'm like, it's pretty unique, of course, but it's kind of weird to add some angles. But then as I went through the read to know how much drag coefficient this car is, I knew it would be for the aerodynamics. So it has got all the hallmarks of a crazy concept car, which is also functional. Now Mercedes says it's going to test a road legal version and prove its thousand kilometer range claim very soon. Now, this car is very aerodynamically designed. The tail in particular has a retractable rear diffuser and is narrower than the front of the car by a couple of inches. Now the track coefficient here which I was talking about earlier is just 0.17. That's epic. Another interesting thing on the exterior of this car is the small array of solar cells which according to Mercedes might give you another 22 km range whenever needed by helping power the ancillary systems inside the car. If that doesn't sound interesting, guys, the interior of this car will just blow your mind away. It's tech, more tech everywhere. Just look at the dashboard, there isn't one. It's a mind-boggling 47.5 inches of hyper-ultra-wide 8K resolution display. Hyper-ultra, is that even a word? <laughs> Whatever. So the engineers would be like, what do we got here? A hyper-ultra-wide display and more display and a 3D navigational tools. So done let's do it voila here you have although i love analog dials and some digital but this thing is futuristic and with another level so you just can't take your eyes off of it if that's not enough the materials used inside the eq x is pretty unique too like mercedes went in for a sustainable interior which are environment friendly and many are made of recyclable material now the carpets for example are made of bamboo fiber while floor and door trim pieces are made from recycled pet bottles the interior also uses something called UBQ material, which is made from landfill waste. Then there are also really cool leather alternatives, Desert Tex, which is made from cactus fibers and Milo, which is created from mushrooms. Here you go. So there's mushroom, the roots of the mushroom they have used in order to build something inside the car, which is way pretty cool. And it actually sounds pretty cool as well. So when can you expect to buy this Mercedes EQ XX? That's a bad news. Well, research cars like this usually have parts that are too expensive to mass produce or are impossible to meet current safety standards. But the EQ XX is kind of roadmap that you can expect to see in future production models. And that's what I'm really excited about. A car that shows an example on how it can be done. Now, Mercedes calls this EV a research car and for the good, it's designed to test out technology designed to make its way to the mass market. Mercedes says the battery tech here will be used in series cars very soon. Again, that's impressive. So what do you guys think of this research car? Will it do its purpose besides just looking cool? I'm really excited to know your thoughts in the comment section down below, especially the exterior of the car, which for me is weirdly, insanely, aerodynamically weird. And that's gorgeous. Check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and share it with your friends. Alright guys, I will see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.